Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. The war in the flesh overseas in Afghanistan, Iraq, and Africa is a cakewalk compared to the spiritual war. Something that we started, something that we blew up. That's our responsibility. Savage is too nice of war. Let me say, yo, he was having a rough day. The churches aren't talking about this stuff because that is what we think a man is. They're setting you up for failure. They're sending you out on the battlefield with no weapon. For you know that when your faith is tested, your endurance has a chance to grow. Today, I want to talk about the valley. Today, we got the old, the good old whiteboard. We're going to teach it up today. I think you guys have probably seen, I post a lot on our Patreon page for our members as we do a weekly study. We get into the weeds on a lot of things, and we've recognized that we do a lot of dumb things, both men and women, when we are struggling, when we're in a low time in our life. Whatever that may be, it's different for everyone at different seasons, different times. It's standing firm in that storm or when those struggles are real, when it's not of good times, when it's a bad times and making certain decisions in those times that really matters because what happens is we, we look back and we're like, crap, man, I shouldn't have done that. Now I got to deal with the problem I already have plus this and it just compounds and it's not a good thing is a lot of you guys probably understand. So that's what we're going to get into today. Some examples of this would might be, you know, I get in an argument with my spouse, things aren't going well, it's not on the up and up. I say certain things, I do certain things, I run to a bar or some other kind of coping mechanism and it just makes matters worse or something with our children, something at work, a coworker, and we we take action or we do things or say something that just does not help the situation. It just again compounds and makes matters a lot worse. And it could be a lot, it could be a numerous thing. It could be for your workouts, your diets, like I'm already feeling like crap. Well, maybe I'll just eat this box of donuts over here. It just depends on what it is and that affects us. It all compounds, comes back together. It's not just one thing. It's a bunch of elements that come together and affect this mindset, which affects what we do and affects the people around us. And that is unfortunately the truth sometimes. But the great thing is we have a choice in that, which is a beautiful thing. All right, so let's get into it. All right, so I'm going to do this drawing and please don't make fun of me. This is a mountaintop. All right, so we'll just this is what I always drew it in school. That That's snow, by the way. So we're, we're going up and we're, we're feeling good. And this could be you know, something good at our job, things are looking good in the marriage or with your significant other, things are good with the children, your workouts are on point, your diet's on point, things with your family are on point. There's nothing in the mix. I mean, of course there's always something, but you're in a good place. I'm sure we can all be like, man, I feel great today. This is a good day. Everyone's feeling your energy. It, it is what it is, all right? This is what I'm talking about. We don't get to stay here, unfortunately. And a lot of a lot of people, you can hear this in business a lot, is when I get to the top. When I get to the top, well, here, newsflash, there is no top. When you get to the top of whatever that goal was, maybe a certain position, you should be looking on to the next, whatever that is. If you get to a certain point in your weight, physical routine, or in your marriage, like, mm, no, we need to work on this. That's our next mountain. All right, let's go get it. We, we conquered this one. We're going to keep going and attacking the next uh, thing that we need to do. So there is no when I get to the top. Take that out of the vocabulary. Don't know really when that started. Like when I get to the top, this will happen. That's a bunch of BS, guys. I'm, I'm sure you probably realize that. All right. This is a good feeling. Things are awesome. Things are going well. It's just good to go. And then something happens. A miscommunication. You did something that you should not have done or somebody else did something that they should not have done. There's a forgiveness this piece that is not taking place or we do something, you know, just was not a good thing. And then we start going down. So we're, we're here and then we start coming down. All right. This is kind of a, a crappy feeling. You know, it's how bad is it going to get? And usually on this down slope is when we start making some bad decisions that kind of add and kind of add and kind of add. And now we're just going boom, boom, boom. We're going deeper and deeper. And, and again, a lot of these are your choices my choices, all right? And then we get to this point down here, what I'm gonna call the valley, all right? So this right here, the valley. David talks about this in Psalm 23, the Lord is my shepherd, and it goes like this. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. 
And another name for the valley of the shadow of, of death could be just deep darkness. So, it, but, but it is an actual place. Please understand that. I just learned that actually a couple months ago, that it is a place and that's a whole nother history lessons of a lot of insane things that happen. Uh, what grows there? It's, it's really, it's a really cool story. And maybe we do a podcast on that later, but we're talking about Man, this sucks, okay? Wham, this is not cool. We're here for a little bit. It could be a day, a week, a month, years. I mean, we could have other mental things coming in, emotional things, healthy things come in. You know, you lose your job at this time when you're already down. It's just, it's a bad time. A lot of a lot of people make up in their mind that this is the worst. It can never get any worse. I'll be better if I off myself. And really guys, it's a season. It is a season. You can just look back at your life and be like, dude, that sucked, that sucked, and, and it's gone. It's over. You can't look at the moment and be like, this is how it is forever. That's what happens with suicides a lot of times or people that make very bad decisions. This is the way it's gonna be. My wife will always be like this. My husband will always be like this. I'm always gonna have this bum knee that won't let me do what I used to do and that gave me life. No, it's a season. Now, are some things terminal? Yes, man, uh, of course they are, dude. I, I'm not gonna pretend it's not, but a lot of things that we worry about or have crazy anxiety about, they pass, they pass. And then after a while, we should be coming out of this. This is another mountain, guys. So we're kind of talking about a bunch of things. You know, we could be talking about excess, getting to a low point. All right, now I'm going up to the next one. And this could be, hey, I'm good here. I'm going back, I'm going into a new routine or trying something new in my job. Um, I don't know a lot about it, but I'm gonna learn, which is awesome. Gaining wisdom, gaining knowledge, going through this valley of humbling yourself and realize you don't know it all. And then finally, you slowly learn more and more and you start climbing and you get to your peak, all right? And again, this could be in health. This could be in business. This could be in relationships. So there's many, many things that this could apply to, apply it to what you're dealing with in your life right now. There's the picture. We got a high point, we got a low point, and we got a high point, but I really wanna concentrate on this right here. This right here, the valley, all right? So boom, that's what we're talking about is the valley right there. If you go back, a I can't remember when we put this out, we talked about elements of mindset and this is why this is so important. And just to recap real fast is we got you in the middle and then we got our faith, we got our family, we got our fitness. In fitness, I put in there all health aspects. Uh, the, the physical stuff you're doing, your sleep, what are you eating? Um, and then we can go out to another ring and we can look at media. What are you watching? What are you scrolling on your thing? What's your job atmosphere, your job environment? Is it good, is it bad? What kind of friends do you have? Who are you hanging out with? What do they like to do? Hobbies. We can keep adding things on here. I could do certain addictions or bondages. What are you watching on TV? What are you listening to? All these things, I mean, we could just start layering things out and everyone's different on you know, what they got going on. That is why this right here, what you are putting in your body, toxic or positivity, is going to affect your time right here in this low point of your life, in the valley. It is extremely important that you're taking in the good stuff, if that be food, what your eyes are seeing, what you're hearing, what you're exposing your body to, what your significant other is exposed to, what your children are exposed to, because all that comes back into the house. People from different workplaces, all that is coming into the office. So if somebody's Mr. Uh, negative over here, negative Nancy over there, they, the, the chances of them bringing it into the workplace is huge. That's why I've I am so big, it's like people are like, hey, what's your, one of your biggest leadership thing? It's like, dude, you gotta focus on the team. It is the team. Like if everyone's firing all cylinders, man, the team is doing good. But if we got a low point that we need to direct attention over here, then we're taking off what we need to be focused on over here to complete the task, get the mission complete, whatever it may be. So all this is extremely important. You have got to attack this with this. You have got to, it's what you, personally choose to do. If we go back to the relationship piece, cause this is, this is very huge on our Patreon studies. We, um, we do certain things, you know, this is a, a big one right here. You know, we might run to porn, might run to alcohol, might run to that white powder called Coke, whatever it may be. There, there's, there's, there's all kinds of, there's all kinds of things um, that could be here. Everyone's different pills, a go-to of mine for a while, just to suppress what I don't have to feel anymore. But what happens is we go to those we go to those things instead of standing firm 
in the storm and taking it like a man. I did a, a prior video, what is a man? And, and really today's society, and I'll reiterate it because it's very true, as we think a man is, you know, someone with buff muscles, wearing a tank top, got some cool shoes, got a cool car, got a lot of cool followers on uh, on media. No one really knows who they are. Who, what we say alpha male is, they can shoot a bunch of guns, go kill the deer, but when they get home, they can't take you your family. You're not, you're not a man, you're a fraud. You're a poser and you're a little boy. I will continue to say this because I was there and still sometimes I can find myself in the boy category which sucks. It's like, dude, I'm, I'm like going through whatever I'm going through. And I'm like, I'm being a little boy right now. I need to snap out of it and get back over to the man side. But, but this country is filled with a bunch of boys running around thinking they're men. They're not. Unfortunately, they're a bunch of jokes and it's very sad. I was there for a very long time. We're just blind. We are extremely blind. We believe the commercials. We believe what media, oh, this is cool. I should cook like this. I should eat like this. My girlfriend should be that. I'm a dude. I should be working out like that. That's not true. It's not true. We're, we're lost in our identity. So it's what you do in this moment that really matters. That is what defines you. Because when it, everything's great, awesome, man. Everyone's happy. It's how are you acting? How are you treating others when it, it really sucks? And it's hard. I'm not going to pretend that it's not, but it's very, it's very hard. But this right here, this right here, this valley, the valley, this is necessary for growth. You have to have it. Those low times in your life, they are necessary for growth. If you want to look at anything, your job, when you first started a job, you were probably like, man, I don't know what to do. There's so much to consume. I'm drinking from the fire hose. Tons of information that I need to retain and implement it in my job so I know what I'm doing. You know, where you started and where you are now are two different people. We can look at, I use this a lot as boot camp. You know, you go to boot camp, you don't know anything. The first time you step off the bus and you uh, put your little, you know, feet on the footprints out there and the time you graduate are two different people. Or buds. Our SEAL training is, you know, I started out with push-ups, getting wet and sandy and just getting beat. And then I learned how to shoot, move and communicate with explosives, jumping out of planes, going underwater, out of helicopters, using pretty much anything in all environments and getting really good at it and taking it to the enemy and destroying them. That's not where I started though. That pipeline of training, there was trials. There was hard times where I'm like, man, this sucks. All the blood, all the sweat, all the tears, that formed me into the warrior that I became. And it should form you into the man or woman that you want to become. It's necessary. Quit looking at yourself when you're in these, in these valleys, when the storm is actually hitting, when the bad, when it's not of great times. And take it in. Instead of feeling sorry for yourself and getting that victim mentality, look up and say, what are you trying to teach me? What do I need to focus on for me? And to be honest with you, a lot of it's hard to um, embrace. If you ask for it, he'll show you who you are, what you're doing, what you look like from the outside, and it's not all pretty. That, that's, that's, um, that's a truth. But truth is way better than sugar-coated crap that the world feeds you and our flesh wants. We need this. We need it. We have to have it or else you won't grow. I was, um, I think it was last summer, my son was flying back. He was seeing his mother. Who, she lives in a different state. And uh, he had a bag with him. And I, I let down the, the tailgate on my truck. I was like, hey, throw your bag in there. It was a pretty heavy bag. And he's like, I can't do it. And I said, ooh, don't say the C word. Do not say can't. <laughs> so I'm like, hey, buddy, just, just, give, it a, just give it a try. And he, and he tried to throw it out there and it hit the ledge of the tailgate and it fell to the floor. And he was getting frustrated. I was like, hey man, try it again. And the same thing happened. I mean, hit the tailgate, came back down and you can ease just like the frustration level was going through the roof. I was like, hey dude, I know that this is hard, but I know that you can do it. And he gets down, I'm like, you know, you know use more legs and less arms. So he gets down, he kind of squats and he throws it up there and he tosses it with tons of room uh, it goes like into the bed of the truck and he did it. But if I would have been like, hey man, I got this. He never would have got that little teachable moment. Never, never would have realized what he can do, his full potential. He needed to fail a couple times so we could learn. We need to fail a couple times so we can learn. 
So when you're questioning why me, it should be like, hey, try me. Let's go. You're going to fail. I'm going to fail. Failure is not final. It is a great learning experience. And it's, it's necessary. It's necessary. We don't like failure. We don't like the, the thoughts that come in with it. But it's very necessary. It's very necessary right here. So, so going back to this deep valley, when we were at this high time and we go through, we go through this valley right here, and then we go back up, when we get here, we do not want to look back down here and be like, man, I did this. Why did I do that? Because now you got to explain yourself. Now you have to go back and repair. I want to give you a visual. If I have a ceramic plate and I'm standing on concrete and I take that plate and I drop it, and I heard this, by the way, from someone else. I can't remember where it was. So it's definitely not my credit. If I take that plate and, it, and I just drop it, just let it go. I don't even need to slam it. I just drop it. That plate is going to hit that concrete and it's going to shatter. It's going to shatter. However, I can get all those little pieces of that plate and set them back up here on this table and get my little glue and put it all together and form it and reshape it. I might be missing a little bit of pieces, but I'll get my plate back. I hold that plate up now that it's all glued and dried and I showed you, you would see cracks throughout. The plate's put back together, but there are cracks and fractures in this plate. The stuff you do, how you act, what you say, especially what you say, need to work on that for myself. Don't look back and have a bunch of fractures because once those fractures are there, you can't take those fractures out. Remember that, remember that plate. Don't drop your plate anymore. We've dropped the plate quite a bit of times. So we've had to glue it back together with work. Sincerity, genuine heart change. Some of you might be going through it right now. Don't fracture the plate anymore. All right, guys, that kind of wraps up the, uh, the valley. This is a huge thing. You can put this into your life. You know, you got the high point, low point, back up to the high. All these elements of mindset affect, especially what happens right here. It's extremely important to fill this with good stuff and get rid of the bad. And you know it. If you go a certain place, you're hanging out with somebody that's just like, man, this bad stuff always happens. That means you need to get rid of it. Like, it's that simple. Are you going to lose relationships? You sure are. That's okay. All right, that is okay. If the relationship or a place you go to equals bad, you're not supposed to be there. I'm telling you that right now. And I don't even need to know what it is. And, and, and you know it as well. So, so don't do it. This is a big one, guys. We, um, we talk about this a lot on the Patreon is, is not doing certain things and causing more fractures and uh, guys putting in their input about, hey, this works for me. This did not work for me. It's working. You know, a, a big thing is your community you know, to be held accountable, something to feed into, because a lot of us be like, I'm isolated, it's just me. Am I the only one dealing with them? That's not true. Not true at all. Not true at all. We all deal with it in some way, shape, or form, different flavor of something bad, but it's, it's what you do in these storms, in those trials, in those hard times that makes you a man, a woman, a boy, or a girl. That's what it comes down to. And the world full of a bunch of boys and girls unfortunately. I hope you got something out of this. Um, very good. Apply this as B and that is the Valley. One more thing. We got a bunch of new hats coming out. This is one of them all in where we're getting them made at the moment. So I'm not sure when this video will actually pop out, but it should be within the next few weeks. Uh, so look for those on unafraidshop.com. And um, we're, we've got probably, I think there's at least six different styles. We're doing a low profile, medium profile, and high profile of a bunch of uh, cool stuff. So I think you'll like it. So you guys take it easy, be safe and implement, implement. Take care.